Good evening, everyone. I am on Forbes Town Road, right near Lake Wyandotte, um, surveying a little bit more of the wall fire for you all. Uh, I can tell you that right now, the wall fire, as of 3.30, is 35% contained and has burned 5,600 acres. Uh, they believe 17 structures have been destroyed with five damage. As you can hear in the background there, they have a he helicopter going over right now, and it is, um, dipping in Lake Wyandotte and getting, uh, putting out hot spots along the trail. Uh, so with any fire, they don't just burn out and are completely ceased. They actually do need to, uh, there's still smoldering areas that need to be put out and make sure that they don't reignite. And that is what the fire crews up here that I've been seeing are doing right now. Uh, what, what a lot of us call mop-up work. Uh, that's what the crews up here are doing. They're doing a little bit of cleanup and mop-up work. Uh, I'm going to try to get over and show you the helo dipping into Lake Wyandotte, uh, getting water for that work in a few minutes here. Uh, there have been four injuries, sadly. Um, as far as I know, none of them are major injuries, just uh, the general kind that you would get from uh, from being at a fire with the uh, uh, I, I think there was one fireman, actually don't quote me on that, four injuries, we'll just go with that. That's what I know. Um, the case is still under investigation and as of right now there are uh, about 1,600 fire people uh, up here uh, doing this fire. So I'm going to show you, I'm just in a little area off the side of Forbes Town Road here. I'll just kind of show you that backwards and forwards here. We've got water tankers going by and such on the road. So what they did was they used Forbes Town Road as kind of a line in the sand and stopped the fire from going any farther that way. So they actually did a wonderful job here. Let me show you kind of back this direction also. They did a wonderful job here. If you can see from this video, it burned right up to the road and not one inch further. So that's what I have for you right now. As, as far as what I've just seen driving around here, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's a relaxed atmosphere, but it's not as frantic as it was uh, the other couple days. They, are, they definitely are getting this fire under control, so that is great. It looks to me like this fire um, will be much diminished by tomorrow. Uh, they've already lifted some of the evacuation warnings, um, and so though, uh, those people are feeling a lot better about their houses. I do believe some people have actually got to go back to their houses. That is more of a hearsay rumor than, uh, so don't quote me on that stuff. Show you a little bit more of the burnt area behind me here. So that's what I have for you right now. Um, for any additional information, I'll post some links down below. I'll also post a link of the location where I'm at right now. Uh, I do want to say, I do want to thank all the firefighters as a citizen. They did a wonderful job. I want to also say that um, they went above and beyond trying to protect structures. Every structure that I've seen so far on, ground, on the ground level walking to them, they've all been saved by a Herculean effort. So anytime you see a firefighter, this is as a citizen, anytime you see a firefighter, you make sure you give them a, a hug or a handshake or something to drink. I did that yesterday. I gave a very nice firefighter a little bit of lemonade yesterday while we were touring the area. So just make sure that you, that you show that you appreciate what they do. And, I, and this is commentary now I'd like to say that Oroville is amazing we can go through floods we can go through fires but no matter what the spirit of the town never fails our mayor was out helping regular citizens were out helping everybody was helping each other people are opening their homes to strangers just like when we were flooded this town is wonderful we should all count ourselves lucky to be around such outstanding people as our neighbors are and our and that we see every day and perhaps take for granted but I, after being a reporter for a little while I don't take any of you guys for granted anymore I hope that you don't take your neighbors for granted either they are amazing people and when it really comes down to it they all are out to help each other so thank you for being Oroville thank you I enjoy what I do uh, I love reporting about you guys and there will be more later thank you uh, have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow bye
as you can see here, the firefighters drew a line in the sand, or I guess a line on the road, and they managed to stop this fire from going anywhere past Forbes Town Road. There's even a structure, I hope you guys can see up there, that they completely saved. They did an amazing job. This is one of the few areas where the fire managed to jump Forbes Town Road. But it appears that the firefighters were able to save the structure behind this area anyway. Looks like this was hard fought and hard won. don't think this sign could have been more prophetic. This is right on the way up the, on the beginning of Forbes Town Road and I think that this, the 100 feet of defensible space, is why many, many of the homes were saved in this area from the wildfire.